Hey there folks, Adam Davis with Adam Davis Real Estate, obviously. Just one example of the years of detailed craftsmanship that has gone into this place. It's something that's really, really, really stunning. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the market right now. It's a little weird and uh, you know, I thought it, would, it might be a good time to touch base. It's been a while since I've done one of these little uh, talk at you videos and um, a lot has changed. The big conversation of course is that interest rates have tripled, uh, almost quadrupled since the, the top of the year, January, 2022. Um, it's a big deal. I mean, it, it frankly means that buyers have less opportunity or um, latitude to make their purchases. It means that sellers have to be more competitive with their pricing if selling is something that they have to do. Um, but it doesn't mean that it's a, an unwinnable situation. Um, the number one takeaway is that business continues. Um, houses are still selling. Houses are still selling over list price. House values are still appreciated significantly from where we uh, started back at the beginning of 2020. So if you're looking at the market and thinking to yourself, six and a half percent interest is just too, too much for me. Um, maybe, but you know, here's the thing. Uh, most people don't buy a house and live in it for 30 years. So if you, if you've got a 30 year fix, you know, if you've got a reasonable down payment, um, you're going to be paying that six and a half percent for as long as it takes for interest rates to come down a little bit and you can refinance or you've appreciated enough in value and you can find your replacement property down the road, you know, in five years or something like that. So don't think of it as I'm going to be paying six and a half percent for the rest of my life or until, you know, I'm 70 or 90 or whatever, however old you are. Um, think of it instead in terms of if I don't get this house today, um, the interest rates are going to continue to grow and increase. Uh, the house might be gone. I might not be able to find the home of my dreams because inventory is still so extremely tight. Um, and you know, one of, one of the major obstacles that we ran into in the pandemic frenzy was that buyers were buying houses uh, out of their minds. Like they were, they were just buying stuff because they could, because they had the power, because interest rates were low and stuff like that. And people were, were buying things sight unseen. They were paying 50 to $100,000 on average more than the property may have been worth. So they would have to not only, not only buy a property at an inflated value, but also um, absorb some of that cost in cash, which is, I mean, good for you if you've, if you've got an extra 100 grand sitting around or whatever. But, but a lot of these people who spent that extra 100 grand to get into their house at the appreciated value are now looking back and saying, son of a gun, I should have not <laughs> bought, um, or I should have bought a little more slowly or intentionally, or, you know, my, my, maybe my real estate agent was like, you got to get this now because no one's, um, you know, they're going to accept the next offer they get type of thing. And there was a lot of pressure like that. Um, and a lot of people regret their purchases, unfortunately. Um, but that doesn't mean that they are SOL. It doesn't mean that they are, um, caught between a rock and a hard place. But the point is, um, that, that now we're in a position where we can be more intentional and careful and thoughtful with our, uh, buying and selling. And it certainly means that sellers, I'm sorry, folks, but you're not going to be able to get January 1, 2020 prices or 2022 prices for your home today. It's just not going to happen. Those prices were not real. Those were, those were imaginary numbers that a bunch of opportunistic folks came up with and said, I bet we can get this. And they did. And um, now the whole market is kind of built up to this artificial high. And all we can do is come down back to reality down here somewhere. Um, so now that we're back in reality, we're not seeing a price drop sellers. We're seeing a price sanity. We're seeing real, regular, healthy market pricing and so on. So 
Um, sellers don't think that, well, shit, my, my house is not worth what it was even three months ago. Instead, think, now we can, you know, fix some things and not risk falling out of contract because they find out that your plumbing is broken or whatever. Um, now we can be more intentional with our marketing. Now we can really go above and beyond and make sure that whoever buys this house, whoever looks at it, if someone in their right mind still chooses to buy this place sight unseen or maybe off of a video tour or, or what have you, um, at least you have done the work to make sure that they're not gonna get there for their final walkthrough and say, oh, this is not what I saw in the video and leave. You have the chance now, the opportunity to make sure that every 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 um, uh, checkpoint in the process from open of contract to close of escrow is lock tight and secure and stable. So, um, welcome to a good, healthy market. This is Adam Davis with Adam Davis Real Estate. Let's go buy and sell some houses.